Hello, friends. I will wait a couple minutes for people to join. It's time for Wind Down Wednesday, and I do not have a beverage. I have a very active weekend this weekend, and I had a big drinking weekend last weekend, so it's Topo Chico and Lime tonight. Um, the last few weeks I've been talking about beauty and skincare, um, but tonight we're getting back to fashion, which I'm really excited about because I have some amazing pieces that transition us from sort of like summer into fall and August, September, October, my favorite months, especially for getting dressed because I love summer fashion. But I feel like in New York, that's wearing like close to nothing because it's so hot in June and July and also like parts of August. But right now the weather has been, it's been amazing. Um, like the other day I wore trousers and a cashmere cardigan and I was so excited about it because I just feel like I haven't been able to like wear sweaters and like you know, like baggy, baggy, comfy clothes in a while. Um, and I've also just been like feeling extremely bloated. I think just I've been traveling a lot and there's been a lot going on. There's been a lot of socializing and yeah, I just haven't been feeling great. So hi people, hi friends. Um, we have a lot of people tuning in. Welcome. If you guys have not ever joined me for a Verishop live stream, welcome. Um, this is where the real party's at on Wednesday nights and I do wind down Wednesdays every Wednesday at 10 PM Eastern. Um, which is fun because it's right before I tuck into bed. So the last few weeks when I've been doing skincare, I've either like showed you guys my entire nighttime skincare routine or last week we talked about masks. Um, and I decided I used to do them in my living room, decided that we should just bring it into the bedroom because I literally tuck into bed right after this. Um, I usually have a fun beverage because that's just more fun. But tonight, tonight we got our Topo Chico. Um, oh, Hallie's here. Our birthday girl. I have so many Leo friends. I love Leo season. Um, I think that it's like Leo season, Libra season are my favorites. And one of my besties, Hallie, is in here joining us and her birthday's tomorrow. So happy birthday, Hal. Um, I'm going to get started in just a second. But yeah, if you haven't joined before, I'm going to talk you through like some of my favorite things. If you guys have never experienced Vera Shop, I give this spiel every week. Um, and I, and I'm not paid to tell you how great Vera Shop is. I, I just come on here and like talk about some of my favorite things recently, but I discovered Vera Shop. Um, I want to say probably a year ago when I was looking for like some really cool brands and like some home things and they just carry these like they carry amazing direct to consumer brands and it makes discovering brands an amazing experience. And then earlier this year, they launched the app, which you guys are all in obviously. And it's sort of like a social media situation. Like you can create sort of like TikToks or videos. Um, and then like you can, as you're scrolling through, you can tap into each one and see all the products. So it's a very fun shopping experience. Another fun thing is that this will go for 30 minutes. So we'll, we'll be on here chatting and hanging out for the next 25 minutes. But um, everything on the Verishop app that you shop within the next hour until 11 p.m. Eastern time, you will get 15% off automatically, which is incredible. Um, some of the things that I'm sharing are already on sale and that discount is added on top. So if you are in the market, um, 
if this inspires you to start transitioning into like some really fun transitional pieces, then you should definitely shop within the next hour um, because you get that discount automatically applied. So I'm going to show you guys some of my favorite brands. Like I said, I've discovered some incredible brands on Verishop. Um, I have ordered a lot of things from my home. That's when I first discovered Verishop. But they also carry brands like what I will share with you, like Madewell. They also share. They also have um, like Free People and A Goldie, which I'll share some things from. Um, so, so many amazing things encourage you to stay on the app and like come back to the app and just scroll through whenever you have that itch to shop because the experience is just really fun. Like I feel like I get so much fatigue from just going onto websites and trying to like shop for things mindlessly, which I think we all do in this consumer culture world that we live in. Um, but Verishop actually makes it really fun, especially on the app to scroll through, discover like up and coming people. I have actually connected with so many people through the Verishop lives because um, I tune into a lot of them and it's so fun. Like I think I have like three new friends here in New York who I've met in real life now and um, discovered them on Verishop and then connected with them on Instagram or elsewhere. And now we, we chat all the time. So definitely recommend staying on the app, exploring the app, um, and shopping. So here we go. I'm going to get started. Like I said, today I'm, I'm coming back to fashion, um, uh, after a couple of weeks of talking about skincare and next week or in the next few days, um, I'm behind one week because when I was traveling last month, um, had a little hiccup and like couldn't join the live stream. So I'm behind a week. So I still need to make up for it. And I'm going to come on and like do a roundup of the last three weeks. So need to figure out when that will be, but obviously I'll share with you guys when, when that's going to happen. Um, I need to turn my news down a little bit, but the first thing that I'm going to share before I like bring it up on the screen is this like moo moo situation. Um, and you can see like the lighting makes it a little bit hard to see, but it has this detailing and it comes down to like, it's like a midi length. Let me bring it up on the screen, and I have to say, I was inspired by the actual shopping, like the e-commerce photos on here, um, to tie a sweater around my waist. So, like, without the sweater, which, I don't know, if you just joined, I was just talking about how I've just, like, been feeling bloated and just, you know, not great the last few weeks because I've been traveling a lot, and there's been a lot of socializing and drinking and, you know doesn't make you feel great. So this dress is something that I just like, I love this. Um, I traveled with this and it's such a beautiful piece. It, so it has like this, like, I, I want to say it's like a mermaid detail. So it has a seam here. God, sorry. My little, oh my God. Um, it has this like seam at the bottom. And it comes down to like my ankle or like a little above my ankle, but I love this. And I don't think that like, you know, pockets on dresses are talked enough about enough, but it's actually funny because Christian, my boyfriend, um, is always like, whenever I like show him a dress, he's like, does it have pockets? Cause now he just knows the hype. Um, but I love this like for summer and like August months. I love this because it's something that you can, go to dinner in. Um, it's a great daytime dress and there's so many different ways that you can like dress it up or dress it down. Like I've worn it with sneakers just walking around the city, but then as we transition into chillier weather, even like today when it was like low seventies, you can tie a sweater around it. I also love just a good striped sweater. Um, for these transitional months, because I feel like in the dead of winter, I don't know what it is. I think that maybe it's just a psychological thing, but I don't love wearing like big stripes. I'll wear like smaller stripes. I don't know. It's this whole thing. Like I associate smaller stripes, um, or I'm sorry, bigger stripes with summer and like Nantucket vibes. So that's sort of the look that I'm going for here. And I also think that like adding a sweater here, 
um, just like adds some volume and adds it, it shows your figure off better. So I love this. I also feel like it's like a very casual, but preppy look. And if you guys have ever joined my live streams, you know that I love like just like a tinge of preppiness. So I love this. Um, I have a size small in the dress, so it obviously it's supposed to fit looser. And I love that. Um, I also think that like you could do this with like a belted situation and it would be really, really cute. But I think that this is just like the perfect dress because so many of my summer dresses are even just like tighter up to here. And when I like feel bloated, like I have been, it, it's not super flattering. So I love this moo moo feel to it. And then like the eyelet and like embroidery is just stunning. Um, I love details like this because it's not something that you see, especially on a black dress when you first look at it. And then when you're like closer up, um, it's just like this texture that's gorgeous that I love. And this is on sale for $58, which is a steal, especially for Madewell. I love Madewell stuff. Um, and yeah, highly recommend this dress. One of my faves. And I think that I'll be wearing this at least through October. So shoe wise, um, I've worn it with sneakers, which I love for just like a more casual look. But I also got these Madewell flip-flops. Um, my dad, I mean, like, the proper name for these is thongs, obviously. But I don't know why. I just have it ingrained in my head. Um, I just, like, I thought I was so immature growing up. And my dad would always be like, put your thongs on. And I thought that it was the funniest thing. So I cannot call them thongs without laughing. Um, so... <laughs> These are made well. I just shared them to my screen. Um, these are not on sale, but obviously if you shop in the next hour, then you'll get that 15% off. So they come down to $50. I like, I used to buy really cheap flip-flops just to wear to like the beach or traveling. Um, and this is like the first good pair of sandals or like flip-flops that I've ever bought. And I was worried that they would give me blisters. So literally last week before I left on vacation for the weekend, um, I was wearing them around the house to like try to break them in. These like amazingly do not need to be broken in. I have not gotten a single blister from them. And they're so comfortable because they're like, they're padded and they're real leather, but they, I don't know. It's like a very bendy leather that does not give you any blisters I don't know why. I just think that this is the most incredible thing because I get so many blisters breaking shoes in, especially sandals and flip-flops. Um, and I wore these all weekend. I was also very pleasantly surprised because I wore these on the beach and like, you know how leather can like get really weird um, with salt water and with salt in general. And these stood the test of salt water and beach and climates, which... I just think was fabulous. Um, a couple of the girls who were on the trip with me actually were asking about these because they were just like, they look so chic and they're like the perfect nude color, but you can wear them with anything. Um, I wore these traveling with like linen pants and an oversized linen shirt. And I just think it's like a very like, you know, chic, effortless look. If you guys have joined my live streams before, I always talk about airport style and how like when you travel and you're in the airport, you always want to look like, I don't know, a celebrity who is getting off the plane. I always envision like Hailey Bieber, who's just like getting off the plane with Justin. And oops, there's paparazzi over there, but I just look like so chic. So that's how I try to dress whenever I go to the airport. So these are them. Because um, obviously I'm not traveling in heels. Like sometimes I see pictures of JLo and like we all love JLo and she's in like stilettos and I'm like girlfriend are you really wearing these like through security I mean I'm sure that JLo doesn't go through security but perfect travel shoes um so I love these and think that they are amazing um I also I mean you guys know that I would wear anything with ballet flats but um yeah I think that this is like these sneakers or ballet flats would just be so chic with this dress to give that like super effortless, chic, like cobble hill mom vibe that I'm going for. Um, 
I'm not trying to be a mom anytime soon, but I do always try to like, you know, tune into like the, the chic mom look. So these are amazing. I also feel like $50 is a very reasonable price point um, for good flip flops. They're also like, I don't know. I think that maybe because I've always bought like cheap flip flops because I'm like, whatever, I'll throw them out at the end of the year and they get so beat up in the city. But that like I get ones that are super slippery and like sleek when you're walking. But these have like this cork bottom um, that's like rubber and no slipping and sliding here. Wore these at the pool, wore them on the beach, wore them in the airport, like such great shoes. And I feel like when you wear a dress like this, that's the statement. And, you know, pairing it with like a Nantucket sweater as I'm, as I'm wearing it to like cinch my waist. And for those moments when it starts to cool down at night, this is just that effortlessly chic detail that makes it look like you're not trying too hard, but that you just like wake up, roll out of bed and everything in your closet is chic. So it doesn't matter what you're wearing. You just always look chic. That's, that's the vibe I'm going for on top of all the other vibes that I just talked about. Um, next, which I'm staying in this dress. I'm not going to change for you guys, but if you saw in my preview for this live stream, um, I have a couple different like staple pieces that I've been loving. Um, and these are from a couple brands that I like knew about before or discovered on Vera Shop. So I'll take you through some of those. And again, these are just like pieces that I love for transitioning into fall um, in these next three months because I just feel like these are the best months. And these are like August through October in New York is where I feel like you can actually show fashion. Um, I don't know. I feel like in June and July, I'm wearing like the least amount of clothing I possibly can without, you know, with looking appropriate. So I'm always in like baggy linen shorts and like a tank top. So I feel like when you transition into these months, you really get to like experiment and also start tying in those like fall elements, like love pairing boots, like high or like calf boots with, um, with like denim shorts or just, just with like a cool baggy short. Um, so you can like tie like both your summer and your fall fashion. And those are my two favorite seasons to dress for. So perfect time. And I also feel like I don't, I always travel in these months and I love getting dressed and packing for travel in these months. Um, so the next thing that I'm going to share, and I've shared these before, but I need to talk about them again because I'm a denim short snob and have literally found my favorite ones that I've ever owned in my entire life. Um, so these are the Agoldy denim shorts and I'm obsessed with them. They have the button. I forget what you call this, not button zipper, but you know, like the, it like buttons up instead of zips up, which I really like in denim shorts. I think that it's just a more flattering look and it, maybe it's just an illusion, but I feel like with these, I don't know, it gives you more room to breathe. Um, so I've heard a lot of chitter chatter about sizing for a Goldie. Um, a lot of people told me to size up and I don't know, I'm sort of in between sizes, but I would say that like my very true size is a 26 and I went with a 26 in these and they fit perfectly. Um, I actually like when denim is like slightly tight when you first put it on because I feel like all denim or like good denim unless it's salvage salvage um denim it's like it will stretch even just like the tiniest bit to the point where it feels like worn in and lived in and incredible so these um and I try I've tried them on before they're in my preview but they are like the perfect length I have another pair that I was loving before and then I got these and realized that these aren't really it but they hit you at like the right place. Um, they cover your butt. Like you don't feel like after you wear them a couple times, your butt is hanging out. Maybe that's just a me problem. Um, but absolutely love these. And these are called the Parker Vintage High Rise. Um, they're originally 148. I know that that's like a higher price tag for denim shorts, 
but very worth it. And they come down to 125 if you're shopping in the next 30, 40 minutes. Um, so highly recommend these. I know that like we don't have that much longer of summer, but I'm going to show you how I wear denim shorts into the fall. Also, I need a sip of water. And I'm going to go through and see if I have any questions. If you're just joining me, welcome. We have a lot of people joining tonight. Oh my God, Christian goes LMAO. Imagine seeing JLo going through TSA. <laughs> I would love that. Um, I'm not sure if that would ever happen, but maybe when we're all rich and famous and going through like NetJets, TSA, if that's a thing. Um, okay, let's move on. So to pair with these, I'm gonna share something that I haven't shared yet. This is a new piece this week. Um, and I would pair with these, this incredible bodysuit. I tried it on for the first time yesterday and it is the softest. It's from the brand Richer Horror, which I have seen a lot um, and have been very curious. They make like the perfect basics. So this, and like, I just love this like cup detail. There's no underwire or anything, but it is the softest cotton. And this is like an olive green color. Um, let me see if I can remember the exact color. So I will say that the colors um, that they like show in the little swatches are a little bit confusing but I did a little bit of research when I was ordering this and decided to go with this color. I linked the exact one um, right down here so you can click onto that and you can add it to bag, but you can also just like go and see exactly what the what other things that they carry. But this is incredible. Um, I've, been, I've gotten pretty picky with bodysuits because I feel like if it's like a full coverage butt, this like might be a lot of detail. But if it's a full coverage, but it's really not comfortable. And I feel like it, it limits the things that you can wear with it because then it just looks like uh, you have your underwear line and then you have to like kind of pull it up your butt to get rid of that. Um, and then like thongs, like the thong bodysuits, great idea. But they also just like, I don't know, they don't do it for me. They just get itchy and uncomfortable. This one is like a perfect, I would say like medium coverage. And obviously, like, I won't be wearing this, just the bodysuit. If you do wear bodysuits, just the bodysuit, like, you do you. That is fabulous. Um, but this is perfect. Like, when I put it on with these denim shorts, it doesn't show, like, that line. Um, but I love this. I also feel like I've, like, gotten pretty picky with V-necks. Um, and this one just hits in the right place. Like I would say it's, it hits a little bit deeper than this V-neck, but it probably comes to like right here on me and I do not have a big chest, but super, super flattering and just so comfortable. Um, so you guys know that I love mixing and matching or like as maybe the 10 year old, 15 year old self Morgan, like younger Morgan would say, um, clashing and I don't like I think that like some of these things like verge on clashing but I really don't think that today in 2021 clashing is really a thing um which is amazing because so long are the days when you couldn't wear navy with black actually this sweater they're navy stripes but I think that like it's a dark it's a dark navy that when you wear it with black it appears to be black so anyway um I would pair it with like this neon green cashmere pullover crew neck um, because I feel like it just like it really brings out the color of this olive green and I love those two together. I feel like this is again like this is obviously more of a winter piece because it's cashmere um, and this is not from Bear Shop, but they do have a lot of amazing similar pullovers and like sweaters that you can pair with this. I would just say like, even when I'm trying to recreate outfits, I don't ever really try to like recreate the exact same pieces. I look more at like color stories or like silhouette stories. Um, so 
for this, like, this is obviously going to be, like, more of your, like, winter warmer piece when, when you want to, like, go to dinner again and, or, like, you know, and again, it, like, gets colder and you want to throw something over, just, like, have something with you. Um, but it has, like, these, like, this brighter summer color. And then this is, like, your more summery piece. But I also think that this can, this will transition into fall just like very seamlessly because of the color and because like you can it's like a perfect layering piece um so I love this it's $28 with the discount tonight so highly recommend I also think there are a couple of people who I follow on Instagram and I wouldn't say that like I'm a huge basics girl um I definitely have my basics that I live in and that like I love but when I have the opportunity to like mix colors and textures, that's really what I eat, like go for a lot more of the time. Um, but like, if you're a neutrals person or a basics person, this brand, Richard Poor, has so many things. I need to order a couple more because the quality of this cotton, it's like that perfect, like stretchy cotton um, that also like it breathes really well. So you don't feel like, I don't know, like a cheap t-shirt that where like you just feel like you're like suffocating in it when you're like riding the subway and it's really packed. Um, so yeah, breathable cotton that's stretchy, perfect basics. Also, their colors are just beautiful. And then like with this, if we're gonna accessorize, so first let's talk shoes. Um, because shoes are like a lot of the times where I start an outfit, I'm like I want to wear this pair of shoes. What am I going to wear with it? And I kind of build up from there. I don't know if that's normal, but I just have always been a shoes person. Actually, funny story. Last year after like, I don't know, my third pair of like very expensive shoes that I like then just like beat up. I was like, I need to be a bags person. Like I just need to start investing in bags instead of shoes because you buy a pair of like $700 shoes and if you wear them all the time, like the cost per wear is amazing, but then you end up throwing them out and it's like a bag you're never going to end up throwing out because of, because of the wear. Um, anyway, shoes wise, going back to Madewell, Madewell just has some incredible things right now. Um, but these clogs, can you even, I am I've been waiting for clogs to come back and I feel like they're officially making their comeback. And I just think that like with this outfit, with, especially with like the denim shorts, you have that like transitional fall look. Um, and then like these give you like a little boost, which I am just obsessed with. So these are like a suede leather. I actually, like I used to have pairs of shoes like this. And was always so worried to wear them out because I was like, oh my God, they're going to get scratched up and like ruined. I actually think that like this material looks amazing when it's worn in and there are some scratches to it. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's weird, but I think that it like, it makes it more fun to wear them because you're not so scared to. And then it like, it feels like they're lived in. Um, again, like big on the neutral colored shoes. And I just think that these are incredible they also have like i don't know probably two and a half inch little wedge but they're so comfortable so they give you like that little boost of height um i'm five six so like i'll take any boost of height that i can get because for the longest time i, I thought it was five seven harsh reality found out that i was five six i felt like my world shifted no joke um but i do love like any any opportunity that I can get where I can just add a little bit of height, but not feel uncomfortable or like not have to wear like an ungodly shoe. Um, I love, and I think that like this does the perfect job of that because it adds that height, but they're so comfortable and it's just this like very subtle statement look, um, which I'm obsessed with. And then I also like, I would wear these with a boot cut jean, um, like front slip pants I just like I I love these um and I'm so excited to wear them I haven't had the chance to like actually wear them out but I don't know obsessed these are made well as well um I'm running out of time I 
I swear these things have like gone by faster and faster. Like the minutes just fly by now. Um, but highly recommend these. And then the last thing that I'm going to share, because this is just one of my favorite things. And I'm actually not sure if I've shared this on any of my live streams. Um, but this little clutch is incredible. Um, it's literally $15. I mean, like, I I just, I can't get over it. It's so effing cute. Um, and I brought this on vacation with me. I was just looking for my phone. My phone fits in here perfectly, which is my biggest thing with, like, these little dainty clutches. When they don't fit my phone, I'm like, what is the point? I need to throw my phone in something. This fits my phone, my film camera, and my wallet, which is incredible. And like, it does have the cane texture. So you can see into it, but it's not like, it's not like a, I don't know, the like plastic bags where you like actually see right through. Um, and it just opens like that and has this little clasp, which I love. Also this brand, which I discovered on Vera Shop, is called Poppy and Sage. And it's from Bali and everything is made in Bali. Um, if you don't know me, I spent a couple months in Bali when I graduated from college. And I, it is my fav one of my favorite places in the entire world. Um, I think that it's just magical. But if you haven't been to Bali, you need to go, first of all. Book a trip there as soon as they open up to tourists. But more importantly, when I opened this bag... Like, it literally smells like Bali, and I can't explain it, but it smells like, I don't know, the air in Bali, which is truly just, like, this, like, tropical Asian scent that is incredible and just, like, so memorable. And I think that, like, the power of scents and, like, sensory experiences is, I don't know, it just, like, carries you back to somewhere, and I love that. So I'm obsessed with this. I would pair that with these. I would pair that with like this outfit. Like it's a look. I also think that a clutch like this, um, I feel like clutches can often be like thought of as like a fancy thing, but this is such a perfect thing to just like throw all your stuff into, go to dinner and you have everything with you. And just like this little thing that like really elevates your entire look, but it's, it's so tiny and easy to carry. Um, I am already over my time. I, I swear I need to make these an hour or something because I could just, I could just talk for, for forever. Um, but what was I going to say? So next week or in the next few days, I need to, I need to chat with the Vera Shop team and figure out what I'm going to go on and like do a full recap of the last few weeks to catch up. Um, but I will be on and then I'll be on again next Wednesday at 10 PM. Um, which I'm very excited about. These have just become a little fun Wednesday ritual of winding down with you guys. And um, again, if you shop on the Vera Shop app in the next 27 minutes, you'll automatically get, not just on the things that I shared, but on like anything on the Vera Shop app, you will get 15% off, which is incredible. I mean, like, you guys need to order this bag. It is $15 and I swear it looks like it's in a $150 bag. Um, I have been stopped in the streets for this bag. People being like, where is it from? I'm like, Vera Shop. Um, but seriously, obsessed and also didn't get around to sharing this visor with you. But another like very fun textured piece that is also available on Vera Shop. Um, also some of these pieces are like, like lower stock. So if you like something, get it. Um, because once it's gone, we don't know, might not be back next summer. Anyway, thank you all so much for joining me. Um, I love spending my late night on Wednesday with you guys before I tuck in. And, um, I love, I love meeting all of you. So Please connect with me. I've met so many amazing people through Vera Shop and like these Vera Shop lives. So would love to connect with more of you. Um, I'm Morgan Jones. I'm based in Brooklyn. And follow me on Vera Shop. We can connect on here. You can follow me on Instagram, Morgan Marie Jones. And yeah, I will see you guys next week, 10 p.m. 
Wednesday for Wind Down Wednesday with Mojo. Have a great night.